Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create configurable products in Magento. Configurable products are actually very convenient when compared to simple products because with simple products while you can add custom options those custom options aren't actually uh, managed uh, as far as inventory is concerned individually. With a configurable product the inventory is actually managed for you. So say you sell a size small that uh, quantity for the size small is actually reduced and if you have a size medium as well the size medium quantity will remain the same with a simple product this does not happen so to start what we first need to do is we need to create uh, an attribute I actually have a video on attributes uh, so I'm not going to go into detail on this but I am going to cover the important aspects of attributes for configurable products for example when you create a configurable product uh, attribute you must uh, select global as the scope and it's important uh, to apply to configurable product right here and to also use a drop down menu for input type and where it says use to create configurable product you would select yes and then you would simply go to uh, attributes manage attribute sets and you would create a set for uh, the type of item that you're looking to list. For example, I have here it's shirt T, which is my attribute set. In here, I have, uh, for example, a group that I created, and that's t shirts attributes, and I have gender, shirt size, and color. Again, for more details on how to create attributes, I actually have a video on this. Uh, so again, I won't really go deep into this uh, because I'm assuming that uh, you'll watch that video after watching this one. So now what you want to do is you want to create simple products for each of your items that you will use as a configurable product. So simply go to manage products and click on add product. And now you'll want to go with the uh, attribute set shirts T, which is the attribute set that you just created. And now you'll basically want to create a uh, listing for each color and for each size. So for example, if you have uh, uh, black t-shirts in size medium and large, you would want to create a listing for a black t-shirt uh, in medium and for a black t-shirt in large. And then you'll also want to create a uh, listing, for example, if you have white t-shirts, a listing for a white t-shirt in medium and a white t-shirt in large so then you would have four listings all together so now I'm going to create two listings so that you can uh, get a better understanding of how things work and as you can see I will just uh, change this uh, to large and this uh, M to L on the next uh, shirt that I create As for visibility, I'm going to use uh, not visible individually because I don't want to have a bunch of t-shirts listed in my uh, shirt category. Instead, I just want one configurable product listed there. People click on that one listing and then they choose the size and color and it makes my site a lot better organized. And here I simply uh, select my attributes. And for inventory, it's very important that you uh, enter in the quantity and that you set it to in stock because if not, uh, this size won't be available for purchase uh, on the configurable product. And now I simply click on save. And now I simply look for my new t-shirt. and I actually edit and duplicate to save myself time and I make sure to change to large here and I make sure to enter in a SKU and I make sure to enable the status of the shirt 
and then I simply go to t-shirt attributes and change the attribute from medium to large and I make sure to adjust my inventory accordingly I have more of these than I do of the medium t-shirts and I change my stock to in stock and I click on save and I now have a large t-shirt as well and I will create a white uh, large t-shirt listing and a uh, white medium uh, t-shirt listing and then we can uh, start listing our configurable product okay so now I have my four t-shirts ready and uh, I can start creating my configurable product so I simply select shirts T as the attribute set and configurable product as the product type for the attributes I will leave out gender and manufacturer and only choose shirt size and color I'm leaving out gender because they're all men's shirts so there's no point in uh, adding that attribute set there so now I enter in my information as I would with any other item and I make sure that status is enabled I choose my tax class I make sure that visibility is on catalog and search of course this is up to you I personally want my item to be shown everywhere and now I enter in my price I'll leave out meta information uh, obviously on a live site you'd want to add that information and for the attribute notice that the gender was actually uh, left over we can actually just choose it over here and for inventory I'm going to put it in stock and website I will choose my main website if you have multiple sites you'll want to choose your site for the configurable product as well as for those simple products individually and my category and now I'm simply going to go to associated products here and I will look for my T's and I will simply select them and note that you can actually uh, decide on uh, the position of uh, these uh, drop down menus for example you can uh, have color shown up first if you move it up or you can have size shown up first personally I'll have I prefer size so I'll leave it on size and note that you can also enter in a price for each size individually if you'd like or you can uh, leave them empty so that you can use the prices that you set here um, I'll just leave it empty and you can even choose between fixed or percentage and when done simply click on save and now just go to your category and check out your new listing here is mine and this is where you would choose the options as you can see I have uh, I can choose black and then I choose the size note that these are required uh, options so if you want your customer to uh, choose uh, specific options you must make that uh, option required while creating the attribute uh, if not what will happen is uh, they might be able to choose black and they won't have to choose a size and then you'll be confused so uh, in my case both of these fields are required so that's that so thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com